Yo, what's up? This is Rockland. Today on Passport Kings, I'm going to tell you about 10 travel myths that turned out to be BS. Engage. PassportKings.com Welcome aboard, abroad. Yo, when I speak to people about traveling abroad, there's usually one of two responses. They're either really excited to hear about my adventures or they look at me like I'm crazy. But the people who look at me like I'm crazy, chances are they never really traveled abroad and they have no desire to go away. They have responses like, everything I ever need is right here in the US. Yo, those responses are usually brought on by fear of the unknown. And we all know that fear stands for false evidence appearing real. But false evidence are created by myths. And here are a few myths about traveling abroad that need to be debunked. Number one, everyone wants to rob you in other countries. Do Americans make a lot of money? For the most part, yes. But we are far from the richest people in the world. Robbing an American will bring that individual a couple of bucks, but it will also get them arrested. The rest of the world is not a lawless wild west. A lot of countries take robbing a tourist very seriously. Most cops are not part of the con jobs. They are paid to protect and serve, and that's usually what they do. No one will want to go to jail out there for your DSLR camera. Number two, there's no time to be traveling because you have a family. People who really want to do something, get it done. Your family wants you to be happy. A few days away from them here and there is not going to kill them. Take a family trip, but don't make them all family trips. Go abroad with your friends and go abroad alone. Someone in this situation needs peace of mind and good times outside the family time. Three, everywhere outside of the US is dangerous. I'm black, <laughs> I live in America. A lot of people say this and that may start a race war. I got news for the people who say that. The race war has started a long time ago. Cops can right now kill an unknown person for no reason and get away with it scot-free. If you want to be afraid, you better look around at the current relations between races in America. It's been hell on people like me since America's inception. And by the looks of things, it ain't changing no time soon. It's so bad that political candidates won't touch the issue. There is an entire news network dedicated to making sure their side is not punished for harassing and killing people. And the rest of the media seems just as eager to paint victims as somehow bringing it upon themselves. I say you may actually be safer in another country. Number four, people hate Americans. Because of the empire building that our government does abroad on a daily basis, there is definitely a purpose for the hate. But here's the thing, people in other countries understand that there is nuance in the way this country is ran. Just because Trump is our president, they don't automatically think that we all see the world the way he does. And yes, many times loud, obnoxious Americans visit other countries and act like they own the place. Some people go to another country and call the people there foreigners. They also act aggravated that people abroad can't speak English. But again, if a local runs into an American a-hole, that does not mean that he or she will batch all American people together in the same basket. They, like anyone else, knows how to tell the difference between a jerk and someone who is not. Number five, if you can't speak the language, then you can't communicate with others. The last myth mentions this, and I feel it is common courtesy to try to speak the language of the land that you're in. At least try. But I've learned that many places you go, people always speak a, at least a little bit of English. They've been told that English is the language of money. They learn English in school at a very young age. Communicating the necessities has always seemed possible. Number six, it's impossible to make money while you're traveling abroad. Yo, go to www.passportkings.com and download my free book on how to do just that. But there are many other ways to make money without a typical nine to five that needs you to be clocked in and where they want you to be at certain times of every day. Figure out how much money you make daily at your nine to five job and use your brain and the internet to make that same amount on autopilot. Links are below. Number seven, the food in the water will kill you or just make you sick. This may be true of some of the poorer countries, but hell, some water from the tap in America catches fire when just you hold like the lighter to it. Drink bottled water. You should be doing that here anyway. They sell it everywhere I have ever been. Buy food from restaurants if you are afraid of cleanliness. 
I still see a lot of my people buying food from Chinese restaurants with bulletproof glass in poor neighborhoods in the state. If you can eat that, with all the news reports that come out daily about what they are doing in the back behind that wall, your stomach can handle almost anything. The people of countries abroad don't want to die from their food. Eat the same things they eat. Number eight, there's no better place to be than in the USA. The only thing the USA does better than anyone else in the world is build a military. Anything else? You can find it, and sometimes better, abroad. Number nine, you get kidnapped. Most times, ain't nobody thinking about you when you're in their country. They also know that most Americans don't have the kind of money that will make it worth it to kidnap you. Again, they have laws abroad. This is not the only civilized country. Their freedom is worth more than your dad's pension for ransom. And number 10, once you get it out of your system, you will no longer see the need to travel. Being a wanderlust is a lifelong feeling. There's a never-ending list of places you want to visit and revisit. I don't know about anyone else, but getting out there makes my time on this earth worth it. I don't ever see this getting out of my system. So don't believe everything you hear. Go out and find out on your own, like a king, a passport king. Peace. Did you like this episode? Great, remember to leave comments below. Subscribe and like and share it with your social media. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you wanna make money online or just book a trip, go to www.passportkings.com and pick up our free book while you're there.